out to the other, the not guilty's claim. Michael Jackson is not guilty. What a day it's been. Say what you like. Michael Jackson survived it all and is not guilty. We go live to Neverland, I hope. And what of the future? We're... Well, we all did all around the world. We held our breath and we waited for the words. And incredibly, the not guilty's tumbled one after the other from the foreman of the jury. It was clean sweep at the Oscars. Ten not guilties. Michael Jackson was free. Well, free to walk away. Free as tortured Michael Jackson can ever be free. But he was off the hook and he floated out of the court as he had floated in. The face expression was thin, exhausted, unconnected, into the cars as the fans went nuts in the California sun. We, the jury, the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of providing... Michael Jackson not guilty, guilty on each person. and every count. Michael Jackson not guilty of child molestation. Michael Jackson not guilty of handing uh, alcohol to a minor. Michael Jackson not guilty on every single count. That decision took 14 weeks of testimony and just 32 hours to decide not guilty on the 10 charges. It is a huge surprise to the media. It is a major, major victory for the fans of Michael Jackson. Well, Michael Jackson and of course fans here in New Zealand were celebrating today's news as they were outside the court in Santa Maria, right across the world. Debbie is an insurance broker and grandmother, so she's a very respectable, balanced sort of a person, sane sort of a person. She lives in Birkenhead in Auckland. Craig, Claire Crawford, uh, with New Zealand's unofficial biggest Michael Jackson fan. Well, it's fair to say, Debbie, that you're um, quite a big Michael Jackson fan, would you say that? Oh, look, I'd absolutely agree with that. <laughs> Before we do anything else, I would better um, choose an appropriate piece of music. What do you reckon? Well, I think on a day like today, that's um, the appropriate song, because Michael can tell everybody to beat it. Obviously, the last couple of months have been pretty traumatic for you, would that be fair to say? Yes, very stressful following all the news on world news as well as um, the more detailed news that came through from the fan club. Um, it has been pretty stressful. I mean, it's a pretty traumatic thing for all the family and for all his fans, all us people out here that care about Michael and knew all the way along he was innocent and being set up. Did you at any stage doubt his innocence? Absolutely not. What were you doing when you when you heard the verdict? Well, I was um, going to the hairdresser at 9am so I sat in the car listening to the 9am news, news and the verdict hadn't come out at that second and I was like, oh my god, and I got on the hairdresser and said, you know, can you turn the radio up so I can hear, please? And they said, we'll do better than that. They turned on the little television in there. And so, um, you know, even half an hour later, I still had wet hair because with the dryer going, you couldn't hear what was going on. So we stopped. And every time they announced um, one of the counts, you know, count one, count two, et cetera, um, I thought, oh, I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> and, and were you? Uh, no, but I thought I was going to disgrace and embarrass myself by bursting into tears at the salon. Yeah, what are some of your favourite bits of your collection? Uh, well, I have to say the dangerous tour jacket with all the embroidered um, picture mm -hmm. of Michael there. And then my prized possession is my ambassador's jacket that I got given at Michael's party when I attended on the 30th of August 2003. What about the shoes here? <laughs> the shoes were put out about 15 years ago mm -hmm. by um, LA Gear. They're collector's pieces, they've not been worn. Wow, so this is your office, Debbie? Yes, this is my office. So this is where you do your work. Do you, do you find it sort of distracting or inspiring to have all, the, all these pictures and things around you? Absolutely inspiring. So what are some of the most valuable pieces that you've got here, Judy? All right, this um, plaque here with this dangerous picture disc mm -hmm. would be the most valuable disc out of this collection. Mm -hmm. um, with autographed photos, the photo here of Michael and Elizabeth Taylor, autographs of both taken at the 30th anniversary concert, that is the most valuable um, autograph. This Vibe magazine that cost me a fortune too. We've got Michael Jackson perfumes. What does that smell like? Can we smell? It smells beautiful. I don't <laughs> use them though. Yeah. 
that all just, just for a treat. Just for a treat. See that New Zealand? I smell like Michael Jackson. So, say you were able to get a message to Michael tonight, what would that be? What would you say to him if you could? I would probably do what Michael would do. Um, <clears throat> like he did to me at the birthday party, he um, smiled, he blew me kisses, I've got all that on the film, and gave me the victory sign. Um, and he is a hugger. So he hugs. There's probably not much you could say other than just put your arms around him and hold him and hug him and say, it's going to be all right now. It's going to be all right, but he wouldn't have invited you home, would he, if you don't mind my saying so, because the wits are already at work, you know, with the dramatic uh, verdicts today.